guaranteed to show some magazines you have never seen before. Let's check out some interesting sports magazine sales from the first part of December. All right, we're going to start off with this absolute classic. It is 1990 Beckett basketball number one, Michael Jordan. It is a CGC 9.8, and it sold for $399 on eBay. And following the same trend, this is Beckett hockey number one. Once again, we've got a GOAT. It's Wayne Gretzky, a CGC 9.8, and this one went for $265 on eBay. Here's one that I've never seen before. I love the sports covers from Newsweek. This is from 1972. It is women's tennis legend Chris Evert, and this raw copy went for $50 on eBay. Here we got 1956 Sports Illustrated. This is the third cover for Mickey Mantle. It's a CGC 7.0 newsstand copy, sold for $199 on eBay. Here we got the three match classic Sports Illustrated cover with LeBron James and Steph Curry. It's from 2017. It's a CGC 9.8, sold for $375. Who used to love the sporting news? Here we've got a sporting news from 1970. It's got legend Roberto Clemente, sold raw for $49.99. Sport Magazine number one from 1946. It got Joe DiMaggio as well as his son, Joe DiMaggio Jr. And this raw copy went for $150 on eBay. From 2009, it's a Kobe Bryant cover that you don't see too often. It's an SI Presents. It's a CGC 9.2 copy sold on Heritage Auctions for $222. From 1999, this is the first Sports Illustrated cover for Tim Duncan. It's also the second cover for Kobe, and this is a CGC 9.8 copy that sold for $810 on Heritage Auctions. From 1996, the iconic first cover for Tiger Woods, one of the most coveted, especially from the modern era, and it's a CGC 9.0 copy, sold for $504 on Heritage. Here's another Tiger Woods cover. This is one of his most collectible issues that's a non-first cover. It's the Masterpiece cover from 2001, and it's a beautiful CGC 9.8, sold for $960 on Heritage. From 1964, Street and Smith's Baseball. Once again, Mickey Mantle. This is autographed by the Mick. It's authenticated by Beckett, and it sold raw on Heritage for $504. We've talked before about how PSA Magazine has been putting out some cool variant covers, and that's what we've got here. This is a 2023 PSA Magazine variant cover featuring Travis Kelsey, a limited print run of only 87 copies going along with his jersey number. Of course, a lot of Travis Kelsey and uh, Taylor Swift mania going on right now. This sold for $79.99. From 1978, Hall of Fame running back Earl Campbell. This is Sports Illustrated. It is autographed by Earl Campbell, authenticated by JSA, sold for $139.95. One of the most collectible covers out there. It's the very first cover for Michael Jordan from 1983, alongside teammate Sam Perkins with North Carolina. This is a subscription copy, label still affixed. This is a CGC 2.0, sold for $52. This is extremely interesting and noteworthy because if you think about it, this is literally the bottom of the barrel for what this cover could possi possibly be. It's a subscription. It's graded at 2.0, uh, nearly at the very bottom, and yet it's still selling for $52. That just tells you that pretty much any copy of Michael Jordan's first cover, regardless of condition, regardless of subscription versus newsstand, regardless of grade, is going to have a little bit of value and collectability just to the status of Michael Jordan. Next up, here's another of the most collectible covers of all time. This, of course, is Mickey Mantle's first cover. This is also a subscription. This one is not graded. And this, once again, just tells you how collectible this first cover is for Mickey Mantle. Even in a subscription, it sold for $488.89 ungraded on eBay with 26 bids. Tons of action and interest on this one. And uh, this was the centerfold variant, which makes it just a little bit more rare. But uh, still extremely interesting to see that uh, two of those top covers of all time, the Mickey Mantle and the Michael Jordan first cover, Regardless of condition, regardless of subscription, people are going to want those.
Here we got a unique one from 1996. We've got GQ Japan featuring Dan the Man Marino. And this is a CGC 7.0 that sold on eBay for $99.99. Steph Curry, My Town, My Team. This was a variant, I believe a one of three variant cover from 2015. This copy has been autographed by Steph, authenticated by PSA, and it sold for $250. Here from 1962, this is a baseball magazine of some sort. This is from a tour in Japan when some United States players went and played overseas. You've got Al Kaline, Hall of Famer for the Detroit Tigers. Mr. Tiger, if I'm not mistaken, alongside Shigeo Nagashima. And this copy raw sold for $240 on eBay. From 1998, I love Slam Magazine. And here we have Penny Hardaway, it's a CGC 7.0, The Revenge of Penny Hardaway, sold for $180 on eBay. I also love the sports covers on Time Magazine, and here is an instance from 1951. It is Sugar Ray Robinson on the cover of Time Magazine. This raw copy went for $159.99. From 2002 classic LeBron James first cover, we got a CGC 7.0 blank box subscription, went for $249 on eBay. From 2020, we've got Slam Kicks, Shy Gilgis Alexander, one of the top current players in the NBA. This is a one out of three variant cover with Slam Kicks. This is autographed by Shy, and it is authenticated by JSA, sold raw for $195 on eBay. Here we got another slam from 2017. This is, I believe, Joel Embiid's first slam cover. It's a CGC 9.2. It's making a play on a previous um, classic issue with Allen Iverson when Iverson was on the cover of Slam, and this copy went for $91 on eBay. All Rise, this is the first cover for Aaron Judge from 2017. It's a CGC 9.6, sold for $233.50. 1988 Sports Illustrated cover featuring Wilt Chamberlain and Bill Russell, The Vanishing Center. This is a subscription copy with the label removed. It's been autographed by Wilt Chamberlain, who of course passed away in the early 90s. There is no certificate of authenticity, but it sold raw for $289 on eBay. From 2004 Sports Illustrated Presents, we have Barry Sanders' autographed copy, and this is authenticated by JSA. Sold raw for $300 on eBay. 1965 Sport World Magazine. We've got Johnny Unitas, autographed, authenticated by JSA. Sold for $149 on eBay. Here we're throwing it way back to 1911 Police Gazette Magazine. And we have MLB legend Honus Wagner. This copy sold raw for $450 on eBay. And here's the steal of the month. This is a 25 magazine lot of LeBron James, seemingly all newsstands. Taking a peek in there, I can see his first slam cover with Sebastian Telfair, his second slam cover. You can see some nice copies of SI Presents. And this whole lot went for $22.50. That slam first cover alone will typically sell for at least three times that by itself. From 1927 Strength Magazine, we've got Babe Ruth, and it sold for $345 on eBay. From 2004, I think this one is super cool, another one I've never seen before. This is Dig Magazine, obviously some sort of volleyball publication. And you've got here what I would consider to be the two most famous volleyball players of all time, at least in my lifetime. We got Misty May Trainer and Carrie Walsh, the iconic duo, gold medal winning duo. And it's been autographed by both. There's photo proof plus a certificate of authenticity. And it sold for $120 on eBay. From 1962, Life Magazine. On the cover, you've got two famous actors, Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor. But what's interesting about this one, something that I did not know, is that there are some sports cards on the inside of this copy of Life magazine. Specifically, you've got sports cards of the Eminem boys, Mickey Mantle and Roger Maris. And so because of that, this one sold on eBay for $60. Here we have an awesome Bo Jackson cover from 1986. 
It's his first solo cover. This is a CGC 9.0. You've got him in his uh, his T-shirt for the Chicks, the minor league baseball team, uh, after he chose baseball over football. And this copy sold for $500 on eBay. 1987 Boxing Magazine, Mike Tyson alongside Muhammad Ali. That's a pair you don't see together too often on the cover of a magazine. This one's autographed by Mike Tyson, authenticated by JSA, Sold for $119.19. From 1990, WrestleMania 6, you've got Ultimate Warrior and you've got Hulk Hogan. This is a CGC 9.0 and it sold on eBay for $650. From 1974, Sports Illustrated, you've got Hondo, John Havlicek, Celtics legend. It's a CGC 9.2. Sold on eBay for $138.49. By the way, guarding him there as he drives to the rack, you've got the great Lou Alcindor, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. From 1953, Sport Magazine, Warren Spahn, the most wins all time of any left-handed pitcher. Beautiful cover, autographed by Warren Spahn, authenticated by JSA. This seems like a really low sale, a, a, good, bid, a, a good grab to me for the winner. Went for $49 on eBay. From 1979, Hockey Today magazine, Wayne Gretzky. Any Wayne Gretzky cover from the 70s is going to be extremely collectible. This one went for $300 raw on eBay. From 1958, this is a copy of Sports Illustrated featuring Nantucket. And this one went for $214.96 as a subscription copy. And here's what's odd about this. I've seen this specific cover sell for pretty strong prices similar to this multiple times, and I'm not really sure why. For some reason, this specific cover seemed to be pretty collectible. I don't really get it. If anyone knows, please drop a comment and let me know why someone's paying 200 plus for a subscription copy of this Nantucket cover. From 1992, Newsweek Magazine, you've got a great trio here. Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson. This has been autographed by Bird and Magic. Got a CGC 8.5 qualified grade, of course qualified because of the signatures, and this sold for $209.50. From 1996, ESPN Total Sports. This is not ESPN the Magazine. This was quite a bit before ESPN the Magazine even came into existence. But it's some sort of variation uh, of, you know, some sort of one-off magazine that they put out, uh, a, a publication I don't know anything about. I've never seen one of these covers before, but it's Tim Duncan in college with Wake Forest. It's a CGC 9.6 and it sold for $89 on eBay. 1995, more MJ returns. It's kind of funny. You can find a lot of random oddball magazine covers of Michael Jordan from the early to mid-90s. And this is an example here. It's a CGC 8.5 copy, and it sold for $52 on eBay. From 1984, I think this one is super cool. Never seen it before. Inside the Auburn Tigers, that is the round mound of rebound, or as they're calling him here, Mr. Crunch, Charles Barkley. It's been autographed by Charles Barkley. Uh, there's photo proof to go along with it, and this sold raw for $100 on eBay. Here's a Xerox ad, so don't forget that CGC will slab single pages. I've been seeing people start to do that from time to time because there are some really cool um, old school ads or just single photo pages within some of these magazines. And uh, this one's not graded, but it's just a single page with Bart Star, autographed by Bart Star, sold for $28.01. Going back to Police Gazette magazine, this is 1911, and we got another Hall of Famer here. It's Mordecai Three Finger Brown, and this copy sold raw for $500 on eBay. Got to give my guy Rafael Nadal some love. This is Deuce Magazine from 2005. It has been autographed by Rafa, sold raw for $99 on eBay. From 2003, Slam presents Street Ball. You've got Rafer Alston. And uh, if you are if you are uh, if you're hip with it, if you know your pop culture, then you may know him better as Skip to My Lou. And this copy sold raw for fifty dollars on eBay. From 1979, Sporting News, you've got Magic Johnson cutting down the nets with Michigan State. 
And this is autographed by Magic Johnson, authenticated by Beckett, sold for $399.99. Tough Stuff Magazine, popular magazine for sports card collectors. This is from 1996. Got Broadway Joe Namath on the cover. This has been autographed. The authentication is by VS Autographs. Never heard of them. Not sure of the validity, but this copy sold for $50 on eBay. Love this cover. Super underrated, in my opinion. 1968 Sports Illustrated is the first cover for Earl the Pearl Monroe. And this one's been autographed. It's a newsstand autographed copy. Great pickup. Authenticated by JSA. Sold on eBay for $150. From 1991 WWF Magazine, we've got The Undertaker. It's a CGC 9.0, sold for $700 on eBay. From 1997, this is an iconic slam cover. It's the first slam cover for Kobe Bryant. Also, some other good players. you got Hall of Famer Ray Allen. You've also got Sharif Abdurrahim, who is an all-star. You've got Stefan Marbury, who is an all-star. You got Marcus Camby, who I looked it up, was actually never an all-star, but very long, product productive career. And uh, there's even more great players from this class of 96 on the inside cover if you open up the page. But this is a CGC 9.4, extremely strong grade for Slam, which uh, these magazines are really condition sensitive. Tough to find the Slam copies in a really high condition, and that's why this one went for $750 on eBay. From 1965, Time Magazine, one of the greatest football players of all time, Jim Brown, and this was a steal for somebody. They bought this copy raw for $39.99. 1959, Sports Illustrated, golf legend Bobby Jones. And this is his first cover, and this one went raw on eBay for $689. How about our boy Uncle Sam on the cover of Baseball Magazine back in 1914? And this copy went raw for $224.50. Boys loved this cover from 1973 Sport Magazine. It's George Foreman. This is right after he took down Joe Frazier, the classic down goes Frazier call from Howard Cosell. And this copy sold raw for $22.50. And here we got a hoop magazine. This is from somewhere between 1983 and 1987. It didn't have an exact year on the listing, but uh, you've got Kurt Rambis there in the background with the Lakers. And based on the fact that Drexler started playing with the Blazers in the 80 in 83 and Rambis last played with the Lakers in 87, I narrowed it down somewhere within that window. But uh, love these hoop covers that often served as game programs back in the day. And this particular copy has been autographed by Clyde the Glide, authenticated by JSA, sold for $94.99. And we're going to finish with this oddball 1966 Wrestling Review Magazine, Batman and Robin. And yes, that Batman has two T's, and apparently that was the correct spelling for this Batman wrestler. I actually took a really deep dive researching into this magazine and uh, found a really long and interesting article about uh, who the people actually were on this cover. So if interested, check out the Slam Wrestling website and read the article titled Holy Mystery, Batman, Who Was Robin? This copy sold raw for $28 on eBay. All right, that is it. Thanks so much for watching. If you have not yet, please subscribe. I also appreciate likes and comments. And until the next video, we'll see you next time.